name is Karita Cook. I moved here about two years ago. Um, I came here basically because um, I was having trouble finding uh, a school for my son up north. And my godmother, she actually found Bradley for us. And I just love what they offered for the pre-K uh, pre program. Uh, we've been here ever since. Uh, I want to make this um, our forever home, basically. So in a, hopefully in a couple years that we'll be able to um, purchase a home here and truly say that we are um, part of a community, uh, which we, which I feel as though we already are. Um, but I definitely want to be more involved, um, whether I have a house or not. I want to have us stay here basically forever, <laughs> if possible. Um, so I want to run for the board um, for several reasons, but my main reason is because of our students. Um, my son, I want to make sure he's get, he and other students are getting the proper education that they need. Um, I want them to, I want all parents to know um, what exactly we offer in the schools. Um, I want there to be um, one source of information for our parents to come to, especially parents who are not tech savvy. Um, I want them to know um, every step, everything that we're doing every step of the way um, for our kids. I would love it for our, um, for us to work out a, um, a monthly um, newsletter for our parents. I want them to have a um, question and answer form on our website so, you know, there's a lot of questions that the same parents or depth, sorry, different parents um, ask the same questions. So it would be great if we can have a forum where, you know, this question was answered. This is where um, you can get the information from. This, who you sh this is who you should contact um, if you still have more questions. Um, so basically, I just want us to be 100% transparent, um, uh, boost up the, comp um, the communication, and I want to... Um, give our children the best possible future possible. <laughs> the $5 million cut is only for one year. It's going to be a $25 million cut altogether. So we are going to carefully and creatively um, examine our budget that we have going now. We want to be able to um, reduce um, administrative operational costs without impacting on our um, students' programs that we have to offer. Um, we also expect to focus on grant opportunities um, to fund important initiatives beyond what we're doing currently. The Asbury Park has um, a lot of wonderful programs that I don't think a lot of parents know about. That's I, why we want to um, really amp up our communication with the parents. I think that if they knew exactly the programs that we offer, they will definitely want to keep their kids in the district. Um, also, the charter schools, we pay them uh, $10 million um, to educate our children. And then once they figure out that, okay, we can't help your child, they still, um, they'll keep the funding, the mandated funding, and then they'll send your child back um, without helping them. So we want to let parents know that we have um, the means for an IEP or the, five of the 504 plan. So it's just, you know, um, better communication. I don't think the charter school is doing um, what we can do, what we can do, because um, we have way more to offer for our kids, our parents. For um, the reopening plan itself, uh, I think it's great. Um, we're going to be slowly transitioning in. Um, we're going to have uh, an A-B schedule. Um, some kids are going to be coming in slowly on some days, like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the next week it's going to be the Tuesday, uh, Thursday schedule. So there's not going to be much interaction between the kids, which is great. Um, also, um, the schools were able to get a grant for the PPE um, for hours to staffing and also for the students as well, which I think is wonderful. Um, but everyone should know too with the technology granted it doesn't always work so there's always um at least in this case they provided a way for uh, parents to contact um deborah mcnesh um for from the parent center um to get help with technology especially if a parent or someone is not technology savvy 